thought I'd make another vlog um, and just take you along on whatever I end up doing uh, these days. So um, today I um, packed some orders, which is really exciting. I make these like little bags tote bags they're really cool they're ethically made with organic cotton um that's why they're so expensive but i think it's really important so if you want to get yourself one of these really cool bags they're really good quality and I've, I've been using one of them just to like test if they're good love the print of it see it's all very like sturdy good stuff so ow got my vaccine finally and my arm really hurts um but yeah so i'm shipping some of these and some t-shirts um, which you can get on my Etsy shop if you want to have a little peek, the link is in the description um, and then I'm gonna go and meet a friend and we might like get some coffee somewhere or whatever and I also need to be researching some buckthorn I'm really interested in learning more about buckthorn if you know anything about buckthorn I think I'm gonna um, like record some like stuff I'm doing with buckthorn that I picked the other day um, and yeah, it could be, could be fun to learn more about it, you know, if there's any like stories about it or just folklore in general. Um, I don't know this plant very well and I only really met it recently, um, so I'm quite intrigued by its like presence. Um, so I've been planning to make some stuff with it, some like tea I heard was good and then like even buckthorn juice or like um jellies and stuff i'm not sure i'm gonna i'll see what i end up doing um but for now i'm still in the researching phases which is really exciting and fun and also i recorded a, a story today for patreon i'm gonna do some like little story times there um which are like shorter or longer um just stories that i tell and it's like i'm not <laughs> a good storyteller yet so I'm just practicing and also I love like just like telling stories and I love listening to stories and then I was like you know what I'm so hooked on listening to stories like why don't I learn how to tell stories so I can tell stories um, so if you want to listen to um, the latest story that I put up also the first story I ever put up on Patreon you can have a look at that too in the description um, and yeah if you've got any questions about stuff like yes just ask away um i hope you're doing well and that life is treating you all right and that the dark days are not too impacting in not so very nice ways um okay. the days have been getting much colder and darker the leaves change colour and are dancing their way back to the soil. I love this time of year when fungi are very present and some old oak trees are inhabited by beefsteak fungus. A slightly unnerving sight, honestly, because it does look a lot like beef or something. And spores spreading visibly in the layers of leaf litter that decays as saprotrophic fungi like the wood bluet make their way through the organic matter. These are edible fungi, but similarly as the chicken of the woods, some people cannot really eat them. And this time of year, I'm getting used to the wind taking the leaves. It feels like a transformative time of year. And sunshine feels more like a prayer. So I try and go for walks as often as possible, admire the waters and the clouds and moonlight and listen to stories and take it day by day, step by step, as much as possible.
I'm going to do is just separate the fibres out. You can see they're naturally forming into this sort of... The first time you go through, lots of bits start to pull out. But we don't... I collected a bunch of rush yesterday on a beautiful walk. And isn't that the most satisfying sound ever? Oh, I'm gonna have to let it dry now. I processed most of it, but you know, you see these bits here. Oh, some of these still need proper processing. And I'm just cutting off basically. So I might do that now. Um, yeah, I also picked some wood rush for weaving. And then I have a bunch of nettles that I need to be processing and I've got some more on the floor over there that I just picked but it kind of broke in my bag.
um, so, um, whew, I'm real tired actually, I don't actually know what day it is. Oh, it's Monday today, um, yesterday night I started making a basket out of cotton, um, and I want to try and see if I like this crochet pattern, and then I'm going to try and maybe make my own fibres and do the same thing, because this is just some cotton that I found um, at like a market with like loads of secondhand um, like cotton and wool and stuff and um, just yarn in general and yeah basically I want to just be doing that also need to catch up on some work um, I've been doing a lot of um, buckthorn berry medicine making and um, juicing um, and yeah the season is getting colder I'm like really getting back into the crochet basically which I absolutely adore and um, I might just finish making the blanket that I literally started last year um, and haven't even finished. Um, I don't know, time just like seems to progress and then things just happen. I'm just trying to count how many. One, two, three, four. How many are there? Crochet problems. the ending of this vlog I still haven't finished my crochet basket however I did finish another basket um, out of ivy um, sedge which is the green stuff and then bramble which is like a bit spikier and then it's also got willow in it and this handles ivy and I'm very happy with it um, yeah I've also been experimenting with some like looped basketry like this and um, I think this is pine and it smells really really nice wow you know like pine smells just amazing um that's why i wanted to make some sort of basket out of it and i'm just practicing it now this was one that i did like a while ago it's with um um i think dandelion stems um but i never continued it but it's a very beautiful way of like weaving i think and um yeah anyway i hope you enjoyed this vlog um i give you a little bit of love with my hagstone and um, wish you all the very best and I hope you yeah to see you again <laughs> let's make some more baskets soon um, all the very best for your November bye guys